one. Today I'm going to read you a story about a bear who wakes up early from his winter hibernation. And this one is called Bear is Awake, an alphabet story. And it's written by Hannah E. Harrison. Here we go. Bear is Awake. And it starts off with a picture of the bear sleeping ever so soundly in his cave. Bear is awake. A is for awake. B, big bear. C, cozy cabin. D, doorbell. Ding dong. And you can see in this picture that there's a little girl who's sitting at a table and it looks like she's eating her cereal. She has oats and milk and a banana. E is for enter excited. And the little girl says, eek! I don't know how excited she is to have a bear in her house. F is for food. Food, 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 food. And the little girl is saying, get out! G is for grumpy. He ate all of her food and she is grumpy. H is for hat. I is for intrigued and idea. J is for jumpy. The bear is licking the windshield of an unsuspected driver. And he says, jeepers. Now that would be a little scary. K is for kids and caput. Look at that, the bear tried to play with the, with the new friends, with the kids, but didn't work so well, did it, my little friends? L is for library and listen and learn. And if you can see, the new little friend is reading a book all about bears. M is for market. N is for naughty and nice. Can you see him waving to the clerk? Naughty and nice. O is for oblivious officer and an outlandish outfit. Look at that, they're fooling everyone. P is for pancakes. Q is for quiet. R is for return. S is for snow and sulk and stream and silly. I think he might be sulking because he's not ready to go home yet. T is for tree and ticklish and trail and teeth. U is for uncertain. V is for valley. W is for woods, wistful. X is for a kiss. Y is for yawn. Oh, he's finally sleepy again. And Z is for sleep. Z 
the end. Bear is Awake, an alphabet story by Hannah E. Harrison.